The opera of this period is a wonderful combination of all elements. It's a literary event, it's a dancing event, it's a singing event, it's a machinery event. We're dealing with opera in a period in which the words are the most important part of the opera. The text is the most important element for us to deal with. The music is subservient to the text. It's waves moving all the time. That's it. Same thing, please. Same thing. The entire staging was created by Marshall. All of the choreography was created by me. Because it's on the cusp between the Renaissance and the Baroque, for me as a choreographer, I've, been, I've used elements of both types of dance. My name is Kreshi Verspitzer, I'm a tenor, and I'm going to be singing the role of Ulysses. And I love Ulysses because he's this amazing character of kind of an old-fashioned Jack Sparrow character. He's not a pirate, but he has that quality of him, and he gets into a very tight spot, and then he gets out of it with his wit. I think everyone at one point in their life is going to be able to relate to one particular character in this story. There are so many characters, there are so many conflicts to be resolved. Everyone at any point in their life is going to be able to find something that says, yes, I can relate to that, I understand that. That character, that emotion is me or is what I'm going through right now. It doesn't matter what age, what culture, what gender, there are things in this story that are simply universal. My name is Mireille Labelle and I'm playing Penelope. Through playing Penelope, because of personal things that have happened to me in the past few months, I have a much deeper um, well to draw on. And this role, I don't think would have been possible for me to play it like I can now. It's very interesting to play someone who begins the first moment she's on stage, you see the breakdown. She is very fragile and unstable and basically for 20 years she's been building up to this one day. If Ulysses hadn't showed up by the end of the 24 hours of this day, she would be finished. She would not be a coherent person anymore. This production comes at a very interesting time, so I'm very happy to be playing Penelope now because what I can bring to her is something I never could have done before. Staying fresh with Ulysses is a bit of a challenge because I did it many, many times, about 14 or 15 different productions now. So uh, what greatly helps, of course, it's that frame. And in this production uh, with Marshall, it is always simply beautiful, clear. I think the audience just goes away with that beautiful feeling of we've seen something extraordinary. It's a dream cast for us. You know, we choose with enormous, enormous care. Uh, and this is a cast of people. We have exactly the people we want in these roles. We're doing what we love. We're not filling a gap in our season. We're doing something that we're dying to produce. And that's a great privilege, and it makes a huge difference. Gentlemen, the other hand is on the waist. Let me just count it there. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, one, and two, three, and don't travel. Five, six, seven, and turn. Hand onto the waist. Onto the waist, grab. Five, six, seven, and face. Ball change. Quick, round. Pull onto your right, onto your left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and gallop. One, two. Okay, thank you. Good, good, good.